completely forgot my Bible thing, guys. Uh, but she was in bed sleeping, like, oh, wait, I'm doing my Bible today. But oh, that's good, guys. Welcome back now to the Bible with that day, man. So, I'm about chapter Z week, chapter, I don't even remember, man, 17. Yeah, I'm just seven years, dude, I'm going watch my other guards, but today, we'll be looking at chapter 18, but did around me. Our friends were priests and Levites. Yeah, okay. The Levitical priests indeed, the whole tribe of Levi, are to have no land allotted to them or any inheritance with Israel. They shall live on food offerings presented to the Lord, for that is their inheritance. They shall have no inheritance among their fellow Israelites, the Lord is their inheritance, as he promised them. This is the share due to the priests from the people who sacrifice a bull or a sheep, the shoulder, the internal organs, and the meat from the head. You are to give them the first fruits of your corn, new wine, and olive oil. And first of all, from the sharing of your sheep. The Lord of God has chosen them and their descendants out of all the tribes to stand and minister in the Lord's name always. If a Levite moves from one of your towns anywhere in Israel where he is living and comes in all earnest, all earnestness just like, to the place the Lord will choose, he may minister the name of the Lord he is God like all his fellow Levites. Who serve there as the present Lord. He is to share equally in their benefits, even though he received money from the side sale of family possessions. When you enter the land of the Lord your God has given you. Why do I look like this? Do not learn to Im imitate the desperate ways of the nations there. Let no one be found among you who sacrifices son or daughter in the fire, who practices divination or sorcery, interprets omens, engaged in witchcraft, or casts spells, who is medium or spirits tist or who consults the dead anyone who law, who does these things in, is detestable to the lord because of the same detestable practices your lord will drive out those nations from before you you must be blameless before the lord your god the prophet the nations you will dispossess listen to those who practice sorcery or divination but as for you the lord your god has not permitted you to do so the lord your god will raise you up for a prophet like a me, like me from among you from your fellow israelites you must listen to him for this is what you asked of the Lord your God at Horeb at the day of the assembly when he said, Let us not hear the voice of the Lord our God. Let us not hear the voice of the Lord our God, nor see this great fire anymore. We will die. The, the Lord said to me, What they say is good. I will raise up for them a prophet, like you from among them for the Israelites. I will put my words in his mouth. He will tell them everything I command him. I myself will call an account, and anyone does not listen to my words, the prophet speaks his name, but the prophet here is presumed to speak in my name. Anything I have com commanded, or a prophet speaks the name of the other gods he put to death. You may say to yourselves, How can we know when a message has not been spoken by the Lord? If a prophet proclaims the name of the Lord does not take place or come true, that is a message the Lord has not spoken. That prophet has spoken presumptuously. So do not be alarmed. Thank you all for listening. It's been a pleasure. I am the Daily Dabber. And this is the